have with me on the broadcast now, doc, uh, now Dr. Sanjay Arora. He is the Managing Director of Suburban Diagnostics. Uh, this is uh, the first uh, 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 set of labs or first lab in Mumbai that has now been given clearance by the Indian Council of Medical Research uh, to actually provide for private lab testing uh, in, in Mumbai. Uh, Dr. Arora, thank you very much for sparing your time and, and welcome to the broadcast here on NewsX. Uh, I'm presuming, that, sir, that you've now received the clearance and, and have you begun the testing already? Yes, we have. Uh, we started testing on 24th of this month. Okay. So, uh, right now, I mean, are there, uh, do you have one lab which is doing this? Because I'm presuming you still need the these uh, PCR kits and therefore uh, RNA sequences and all that? Correct. So, our uh, central lab uh, is NABL accredited and that is where our PCR facility sits. So, while we get samples from all across, the processing is done in the central facility. Okay, so uh, the tests, sir, I mean, uh, you you know, we had updates uh, yesterday that the first uh, Indian manufacturer in Pune is now manufacturing these tests. Uh, I think the first batch right. of 20,000 is out and they can maybe do a lakh or so a week. Uh, the tests are coming in from Korea and, uh, and other places. Uh, at this point of time, I mean, can anyone go, uh, because I was speaking to Dr. Lal of Arvind, uh, of the Lal Path Labs, and he's saying you need a Form 40 or Form 44 by a by a doctor. Is that still the case? So, oh, sorry, can you repeat that question? Do you still need a form? I think he mentioned a Form 40 or a Form 44 that needs to be filled by a doctor uh, to mandate a prescription, or can anybody come and take a coronavirus test? So, I think there are uh, specific guidelines that have been issued by ICMR uh, based on WHO recommendations on who should be tested. So mm -hmm. currently we are following those guidelines uh, that, you know, there are defined as suspect cases who should be tested because the demand is far greater than the supply. Mm -hmm. So we want to make sure that we provide testing for people who genuinely need it first. Uh, there's a lot of fear and a lot of anxiety among uh, the general population and you know people who would otherwise not feel ill start feeling ill so we want to make sure there is a filter mechanism so yes we do need a doctor's prescription and to validate the who guidelines which are now been recommended by icmr what they call as suspect cases those are the cases that you know uh, would uh, warrant uh, to be tested first dr oroda how easy or difficult would it be uh, to replicate this because my understanding is maybe we have three or four thousand if you include the research centers uh, three or four thousand of these right. RNA sequences across the country, uh, which right now uh, seems like a lot, but uh, to replicate this across, you know, diagnostic labs in other areas, how easy or difficult would it be, sir? No, setting up a PCR facility is not easy. That's a very good question. It, it requires a lot of infrastructure because there are a lot of biosafety uh, compliances that have to be met. You have to ensure safety of the operators. You have to ensure safety of your you know, surroundings. So setting up a PCR facility is not easy. Uh, it's not something that you can easily plug and play. It's a, it's a tedious process. Okay, so uh, right now, sir, I mean, you, for example, uh, at your own testing labs, I mean, I mean are there, uh, can you do dozens of tests a day, hundreds of tests a day, or you know, what's, what's the rough figure, ballpark figure? So, so currently, uh, the kind of infrastructure that we have uh, we have the capacity to do about between 500 to 700 tests a day uh, and we are looking at ramping up that capacity in due course. So currently we can do about six, 700 tests a day. And, and uh, is, the, is, is the test timing reducing? I mean, are, are there, are there uh, because I'm presuming the test kit is basically a serum from what I've understood that is supplied to you and then the, then the RNA sequencer does the rest for you in your lab. So once you have the serum, uh, is it again the three or four hours uh, per batch kind of logic? So there is a process which is called as extraction, which has to be done uh, from the sample. So you extract, you know, the genetic material first and then you sequence it. So there are two processes to it. The extraction process and the sequencing process are two different processes. Uh, and, uh, you know, it takes about four hours to complete the entire process. Hmm. Uh, the, the challenge currently is because we are getting samples from different parts of the city. Uh, we have started now getting samples from across the state. Uh, because of the lockdown, we are not able to get samples from as far as we want. 
so one is the logistics that is one challenge uh, the second is the supply of the kits i think uh, that's the big bottleneck today that uh, while the demand is much higher we don't have testing kits available so two bottlenecks one is the actual kit or the pcr kit that okay. we have to do the test on and second okay. is even the personal protective equipment what we call as ppe hmm. that needs to be worn by each uh technician are we already facing a problem sir on that front because i know it's a it's a it's a global nightmare right now in italy and america it's a hell hole absolutely. is it already started here yes, i mean do yes. we have a problem yes we do absolutely we have a problem with ppes uh if if labs are facing problems with ppes you know the hospitals who need it a little more than us uh, they will have even bigger challenges and this exposes uh, healthcare workers to higher risk Uh, so we need uh, you know support uh, from everybody you know to help procure more ppes not just for the labs but also for hospitals and we also need uh, you know currently icmr has approved uh, two manufacturers uh, for supplying the testing kits one right. is my lab which is pune based and second is altona which is a german now both these companies were given clearance earlier this week only yes. so i think uh, we have not been able to ramp up the supplies and currently uh, the turnaround time is getting delayed because we're waiting for the kits to, uh, you know the yeah we are awaiting the kits absolutely okay so uh, we will 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 escalate it sir i was in fact speaking with ashok chavan just a short while ago uh, and he's in of course right. in maharashtra cabinet and I, i'll take this up with the the ministry of health here also that we need to ramp this up we are heading in the right direction yes. is this now now about putting the puzzle yes. pieces as rapidly together as possible Uh, what about other crucial e- equipment sir now because we were speaking to the to the guys at my labs and and you know they needed a, a delivery done from bengaluru it, the the flights had been cancelled uh, so are you still managing to, when it comes to your agents and and stuff like that and equipment you require uh, is it still rotating and if it's not what can we do no so i think uh, you know we are currently dependent on my lab uh, that's the only an uh, the only indian manufacturer that has been approved and uh, fortunately i am directly in touch with people at my lab who are you know thankfully picking up the calls and responding and uh, going you know from mumbai to pune to pick up the kits and bring it uh, but i think uh, until they ramp up their manufacturing capabilities you know uh, they will not be able to supply as many labs as are required so i think we need to support uh my lab to ramp up their capabilities and we also need to expedite the import of the kits from germany that is the altona kit uh yeah. altona so i think so i mean expedite i mean we can't we can't send a ship off respect. from germany so this will have to be special uh, special airlifting which will have to be done by uh, airlifted, yeah. i think and you know fast track at the at the customs to clear it and then you know create a dispatch channel i think fast tracking and all should be should be a no brainer no problem uh, it's a special air lifting which right. needs to be done which which currently since all the planes are lying empty and unused right. should not be a problem in fact i was speaking with the my labs uh, promoter sir and he was mentioning to me and i'm and i'm it's a public telecast so let me hammer this point home again uh, if a uh, 50 crore capex would help them you know maybe double their capacity uh, if we do it quickly so this okay. is a public telecast i'm just it's not not for your benefit so for the people watching their benefit Uh, that if we can percolate this through government, that we have fifteen thousand crore fr- fund which is being set it up. In that context, fifteen thousand crore, fifty crore is nothing, uh, which will help them at least double capacity, uh, even if it's it, it's coming across uh, uh, very very quickly, so they can do it, and that's required. Uh, to now scale Absolutely. this up, sir. Now, since uh, obviously there are going to be metropolitan areas, uh, Delhi, Mumbai, Kolkata, uh, places that labs like yours already exist, uh, where this is easier to right. set up. and how to scale this up into into the 3 or 4000 areas which you might need it uh, you already mentioned is technical at a point of time when the airlines are not functioning uh, what are the additional challenges that get added sir so i'll tell you at, at this point of time uh, there are uh, there is one global company called uh, cefid uh, which is making point of care testing for this test and there is an indian company also called mall bio which is based in goa mm. uh, these two companies make something called as point of care pcr testing now if these two equipments or tests or companies get approved then you know this kind of uh, placements can be made 
in uh, you know the rural areas or the semi urban areas or the tier 2 tier 3 cities where you don't need to replicate the entire pcr setup i think some biosafety guidelines will need to be adhered to but it will be easier to then start testing you know even smaller batches can be tested uh, you know at distant locations okay. so there are opportunities we just need to be okay. open to all possibilities okay. so, 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 so right now sir if uh, if uh, uh, i'm presuming you said a doctor's prescription is required uh, you're a private lab now so i'm presuming this is a paid test sir and if a doctor were to prescribe it and send it to you how much would it cost uh you said it takes about 4 uh, hours to do a batch and i'm presuming a a day or a day or day and a half for you to announce the results correct yeah so we are we are trying to uh you know give results within 24 hours we have not been able to succeed because of the basic like like i said the supply of the kits uh that's the challenge for us today but if we get a good supply of kits uh we should be able to turn around the tests definitely in 24 hours today but in the coming days and, we should and, be able to turn around and the cost is some is, is, is it roughly hours. around that 5000 6000 rupee mark sir so the government has asked us to cap it or icmr has asked us to charge 4500 rupees and that is what we are charging okay 4500 yes. okay dr sanjay roda he is uh, he is of course uh, of uh, suburban diagnostics he is a managing director there this is the first a lab that had been accredited i think just what a 24 hours uh, 36 hours ago uh, by the icmr now and they've begun the tests they are operating uh, they need more test kits and ppe to operate more more efficiently but it's happening right now but you need a doctor's prescription so please everybody don't show up and saying i want to do a covid test only if your doctor it thinks you require it uh, and he's prescribing a test then you can go here and at least uh, this is an addition to the government facilities already existing dr arora thank you very much for joining us on the telecast uh, and uh, utilizing that uh, and, and and informing the public what's going on for more such videos subscribe to the newsx youtube channel hit the bell icon